Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the fourth house again. I had made a video on the fourth house and somebody asked me that, could you make a part two video on this topic? And yes, maybe I'll make part three, four, five, or maybe part 100, because the fourth house is a very important house. It is one of the most, uh, I won't say misunderstood, but least uh, utilized houses. I've seen people, they just, dismiss the fourth house they'll say oh what's the fourth house is it's just the fourth house right <laughs> i mean of course they don't dismiss it altogether but i've seen uh, astrologers hardly that they use this and even when i talk to people oh you have this planet in the fourth house because of this this is happening and they're like all right i never thought of it that a planet in the fourth can do this okay so you have to understand what is the fourth house so See, what is the fourth house? Fourth house is the opposite of the 10th house. The 10th house is the house where the sun is Tikbali. He is during the noon time and he's very strong there. So the 10th house gives us a sense of uh, destination obsession. That is what is the 10th house. I want something, I will get it and then I shall be happy. Okay, because the sun is in the midheaven that time. Okay. So it's like he's going high, 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 up, 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 up. And then finally, he reaches his ultimate glory. So sun represents the kingdom, our desire to have a kingdom, which means wealth, assets, husband, wife, children, everything. The sun represents anything that we own, we control. Materially, physically, subtly, anyways. So what is the fourth house? The fourth house is the opposite of the house of destination obsession so fourth house therefore it's the house of withdrawal so if if you feel in life that from the time you're born you're just running 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 oh yeah, yeah i need this i need that today i need this tomorrow i need that <laughs> yes when i am of the age of five i need good friends you know childhood friends to play with and then when I'm at the age of uh, 15, you know, I'm becoming a teenager, you know, my hormones are rushing. You know. Then you know, when you reach 25, yes, I need to make some, something big in the career. You know, everybody is just making it. I have to make it. You know. <laughs> then yes, when you are 30, 35, yes, now I must get married by 30. By 35, yes, I must have children. Yes, by 40, I must have you know, a uh, home or a car. These days, car, people take it 25. <laughs> so then by 45, you're like, oh, I need to become the CEO of the company, you know, vice president, board of director, whatever. I need to become the CEO of my own company. Yes, entrepreneurship. So <clears throat> if this is your situation, if you feel that you are not able to relax and withdraw from the things that you see in this world. Okay. In that case, we can conclude that there is a problem in your fourth house because the fourth house is a very important house because it tells you, as I said in the part one video, that it tells you how do you take things in life. So sometimes when you analyze depression in a household, you'll be very surprised. You will see great charts. Okay. And suddenly, uh, out of nowhere, it has happened with me when I do consultations. And yes, by the way, if you're new to the channel Exotic Astrology, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your fourth house or any house or any area of life, please go to my website down below in the description section. Or you can type exoticastrology.in. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you get rid of the negativity which is there in your fourth house. So, uh, as I said that you will see charts where things are great, but then sometimes they will say, oh, I'm in depression. Yes, I don't feel like living. Why? Because the fourth house is not able to absorb the good and bad of this world. If the fourth house is bad, the fourth lord is not good, or the Karakas for the fourth house, which is moon venus primarily if they are not well placed then what happens either you get good things or you get bad things both of them end up giving you trouble should i repeat if the fourth house is not good 
good things and bad things will trouble you simultaneously. They will both trouble you. Not that bad things will trouble. Because see, what, what will happen if the fourth house is not good? Uh, if you get good things, okay, then you will go very high. It's like, you know, you will go, you will, you will become a totally different person. Oh, I got this, you know, this happened, that happened. Oh my God, wow, life's amazing. Life's great, life's good. And then when after some time the charm fades away, you're back. And then on the other side, if there's something negative which happens, then you'll feel like committing suicide. You'll feel like, oh, this life is not worth living. Why should I live better? Should I? Maybe I would have died, right? This is what is the fourth house. Okay. So therefore, you need to check the planets which are placed in the fourth house. The Karakas for the fourth house, the fourth lord. They will give you an indication of which are those things in your life which can take you very high or take you very low. Okay. I have always seen fifth lord in the fourth or fourth lord in the fifth. Anything to do with love affairs. Wow. That can make or break them. Okay. So therefore, for the fourth house, it is essential. You try to uh, improve the fourth house. So as I have said in uh, many of my earlier videos, for the fourth house, the best mantra to chant is Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. This is the best mantra you can chant. Okay. So what will this mantra do? This mantra will help you calm down and take things the way it is. Take things the way it should be taken. Okay. Otherwise, what happens is you will either get too much depressed or you will overhype things. Even good things. Wow, I just did it, you know. And then if the fourth house is not good, if you get good things, then you'll become very proud because you cannot digest. You cannot digest sugar, nor can you digest poison. It's good or bad. So therefore, it's essential that we uh, make sure that the fourth house functions properly. Okay. Therefore, one of the best remedies for the fourth house is to not associate with people who are on the either side, you know, who are always hyper excited or who exaggerates things for no no good reason have you seen people uh they will just sit and uh, talk about somebody oh you know this person did this actually that happened actually you know this happened then that happened oh my god <laughs> exaggerating things beyond it should be okay Dragging things, it's like digging into things unnecessarily, overthinking. Stay away from these people. Their own lives are ruined and they will end up ruining your own lives also. Your life also. So please abstain from associating with these people. And on the other side, the negativity. What's the negativity? Oh, you know, I'm always depressed. I'm always sad. You know, life's terrible. This won't happen. That won't happen. You know that's very detrimental okay so don't associate with people who hype things too much or who are always depressed okay now i'm not saying that you should hang out only with perfect people i'm not saying that i'm not perfect um, nor are you nor is anybody else and within your circle you will have people who will uh, have these traits sometimes they will hype things beyond uh, what is necessary or sometimes they will, you know, undermine themselves or undermine others, you know, and they will get into depression. There will be people with these traits. You cannot live in an idealistic society like this, okay? But what I'm telling you is, they should not be the ones with whom you associate primarily, okay? That is very detrimental. So if you have five friends, as I say, you are the average of five people that you are around. If all five are, you know, hyping things, or all five are always into depression, then you will also get into depression, okay? So our primary source of inspiration should come from people uh, who are emotionally stable. Okay. Now that doesn't mean you do not make friendship with people who are not emotionally stable. I'm not saying that. But the thing is, you have to know where to draw the line. Because unless you are yourself very stable emotionally, you will always feel drained. You know, I get, I get people sometimes, you know, when I talk to them, you know, it's like I get drained, you know, because sometimes people have such such toxic energies. And it's not that they are bad, but sometimes we ourselves, we are not at that level that we can digest poison. Lord Shiva can digest uh, Kalput, but we can't, right? So 
we have to know our limits so if we feel that somebody is dragging us into something which is taxing us it is taking a toll on our health okay on our mental health which will reflect physically gradually then we need to draw the line you have to make a decision that i won't associate with this person anymore or at least temporarily okay so the the best thing to do for the fourth house is to uh, i won't say just be positive because that doesn't work because uh, you cannot be positive all the time so what you should be doing is to improve the fourth house you should uh, do things which will eventually make you a more stable and a more uh, happy individual okay that is something which you should do and for that uh, generally we it, it is it has been observed and even statistics also prove this that um, having you know stable family upbringing is essential all right oops there's somebody at my door yeah um, sorry for the interruption so that's what i wanted to speak regarding the fourth house that it's primarily people and the associations that we have actually okay so we need to cut out toxic people from our lives because in the name of being friends and relatives and even family members sometimes you know we end up damaging our own lives all right so how many times people ask me what if our mother or father is like this you know they are very toxic our husband our wife they are like this so of course these are some relations which uh, we cannot do away with uh, it's very difficult and it's very karmic also and the scriptures also do not recommend you know, to part ways with these uh, relations especially you know with the spouse with the parents or with children that is not recommended by the scriptures but of course individual issues have to be dealt uh, in uh, consultation with your guru especially okay so your guru is the best person to suggest what you should do okay so because many times people say that oh you said uh, don't hang out with toxic people and then you know my wife is like she is very toxic my husband is very toxic what should i do that well, it depends what you should do first of all we should identify if we ourselves we are toxic because or not because many times if we ourselves are toxic other people also appear to be very toxic sometimes okay so oops and my kids here sorry so therefore first of all we should ensure that we do not we do not actively cultivate toxic traits okay everybody has toxic traits you have i have but we should not actively cultivate and deliberately encourage these traits among ourselves or within others also like you know jealousy hatred and all of these you know resentment grudge and all these things and stay away from those who uh, indulge in all this and then stay with people who are you know who have uh, better emotional health you know better emotional stability you know who are who are broad minded they are open minded they are tolerant they are humble and they are they are uplifting they are encouraging they are inspiring others all right if you may not be able to take their association physically at least uh, you can search for a mentor or a guru who can inspire you okay so only then we can be uh, free from the ill effects of the fourth house all right and actually the fourth house is a very good house it doesn't give ill effects like the dustanas but sometimes we do not use it properly and then we end up getting uh, challenges all right so therefore hang out with good people chant chant this mantra and lead a pure sattvic lifestyle only by that you can counter the ill effects of the fourth house all right thank you very much and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want to watch other videos related to the fourth house i'll put it here all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and my link of the website for consultations is also down below okay thank you very much